Hi everybody, it's Miss Knutson. Welcome back. I know, I've been gone a long time and I'm happy to be back with you. Since I recorded with you last, I'm in a new home. It's white, it's brick, it has yellow irises. <laughs> it is springtime and for a lot of you, you've spent your spring break at home, in your house, or in your hometown. I thought that it would be great to do some lessons that you can do in your house, in your backyard, and we can enjoy being together. But today, the art lesson I would like to do with you guys is a cloud study. So we're going to be outside, hopefully on a day where there are clouds. Today we have some really great wispy clouds. So let's talk about what we're going to need to do some sky sketches. The supplies you will need for this lesson are paper. I've got my sketchbook, so that will fit nicely in my lap. If you have larger paper that's not in a sketchbook, try to find something flat and hard that you can draw on, whether it's um, an outdoor table or a piece of scrap wood from the basement, something like that, um, to make sure your paper is nice and flat. If it's not in a sketchbook or it's not secured, you may want to make sure that you tape it down, at least at the corners, really lightly so you don't tear your paper because the wind will blow your paper away. I've got a pencil. This is the only pencil I could find. I know, that's really sad, seeing as I'm an art teacher. So you're just gonna make a really quick sketch. You're not finishing the drawing with this pencil. So a pencil so that you can kind of map out your composition on your page will be really helpful. So have a pencil. I'm going to use chalk pastels for my uh, sky sketch. This will be really, really fun to blend the colors and get all those wispy lines and all sorts of uh, shapes that the clouds have. And you can just use your fingers to blend it. This is a chalk pastel, by the way. A chalk pastel is like chalk, but it's a lot brighter than like what you would use for like sidewalk chalk. It's a lot brighter. So since we are doing cloud in the sky, I'm going to be using blue. I will also be using maybe this light blue. It's almost a turquoise, but I'll be using that. And then I'll probably be using white. And depending on uh, what kind of sky you have, you may even use a teeny little bit of black. But as I've said in other lessons, make sure you don't use too much black because black can be really overwhelming in your drawing. I have messy fingers already. And this can maybe bother some artists. So you can also use, and I've got it in my pocket, a napkin, regular old table napkin that uh, I can use to blend if I don't wanna use my fingers or even just wipe my fingers off a little bit. You'll need either a sketchbook or a paper that's secured on a board or table. You will need a pencil to map out your composition your shapes and you will need chalk pastels and if you really can't handle messy fingers get a napkin or a paper towel so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scout out the sky to find some really great clouds that you can sketch i'm looking above my head and looking for shapes that would be really similar to ones that you may lay on your back and look up at the sky and see if you can see an animal. Things that your brain may try to finish for you. So um, I'm gonna look around my yard and see if I can find uh, a good spot where I can plop down and find a good area where I can see a cloud surrounded by some sky. Now, if you feel like you have a lot of clouds in the sky with not a lot of blue peeking through, see if you can find those places where the values change, where there's some light lights and there's some dark darks. I challenge you to keep a lookout in 
and um, try a few different places and try to draw it a couple different times. You may be surprised what you can find in the sky above your house as far as finding all those different values that you may also see in objects anywhere else. Lightly sketch the edges of the shapes you see in the clouds. No need to be perfect. The clouds will shift, but make a basic map of the shapes you see. Use the tip of your pastel to gradually add color to the edges of your sketch. Your goal is to color the sky first, then add color to the clouds. Use your finger or the napkin to blend, blend, blend. You may have enough color on your fingers to do the job without adding more chalk. Use your white pastel as another way to blend, changing the tint of your blues to show how the values change from sky to cloud. Remember to blend. Use the sharp edge of your pastel to accent those edges of cloud that are stronger against the sky. Start small and add those edges just where you need them. Take a step back every once in a while and compare your sketch to what you see in the sky. Use a pastel that is a contrasting color to add muted blues or grays to your sketch. That color will make the blues pop and add darker values to your sky without using black. All right, everybody, I hope you found a great place to scout out and sketch some clouds today. I found a great little spot in my yard where there was a stump that I could make like a little table. I think I got some sap on me though, I'm a little sticky. I hope it helped for you to see my drawing example as well. I hope you were able to concentrate on the building blocks of drawing that you already know about value, about light and dark, and about the, the building blocks of shape as well. This is a great opportunity to get a little bit messy, and I know some of you young artists may look like Smurfs before this assignment is over, and that's okay too. The beauty of chalk is that it comes off. Take an opportunity to use those chalk pastels to learn a little bit more about value and shading and color relationships and get outside and draw some nature. Take a moment to be together, be with your kids, sketch together moms and dads and students, and um, see how all of your sketches look different, even looking at the same piece of sky. It's great to be with you guys again. I hope during this time where life is a lot slower that maybe I can share another video with you. Make sure to hit subscribe and see next time I post something and give me a like if you like this video. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.